Storm Shield Weather, certified most accurate. All right, good evening. Scary scene at Boynton Beach, Florida this morning. This is a water spout captured by a news crew that was uh, hovering nearby. This water spout did not make it on shore. It was well offshore, but if they do make it to shore, sometimes they can pack winds up to 80 miles an hour and be like a small tornado. All right, what are we dealing with right now? How about a heat advisory until 7 p.m. for a lot of the counties here in northeastern Oklahoma, the far counties near the Arkansas border and westward Oklahoma City, not included in that. And then tomorrow, particularly tomorrow night, some strong thunderstorm winds are possible as the cold front busts this heat and moves through here. Right now, that front is back here along central Kansas. You can see the thunderstorms breaking out along the front. Meantime, high pressure continues to dominate our forecast and will here in the overnight hours. So I think it'll be dry. There could be a couple of passing showers real close to the Kansas border overnight. The temperatures in the 90s fall back into the upper 70s overnight, and you can see this little passing shower going through Bartlesville and maybe a couple of passing showers in the noon hour, probably just sprinkles. Then later tomorrow afternoon, there you go. Now clusters of thunderstorms start to form as the cold fronts pushing through bigger thunderstorms between six and about nine or 10 o'clock. The temperatures dive back into the 60s behind that front. In fact, we could fall all the way into the upper 60s by Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon with northeasterly winds temperatures only in the middle 80s. It's going to feel vastly different than the way it felt over the weekend and it even feels for the first half of tomorrow. Today's official high 98 degrees. The average high 88 78 this morning. 66 is average, so way above average and September has started that way. If you go back to the first meteorologist staff price made this graphic this morning and it has the details of how we've just been steadily adding to the heat and up to 96 yesterday and now 98 today. All right, First National Bank, Vanita, got sunny skies over in Vanita and right now from our Midtown camera, also sunny skies. Temperature currently outside in Tulsa, 95 degrees, southeast wind 11 miles an hour. Feels like it's 102 with the dew points in the upper 60s and low 70s across the area. 90 at Grove, 99 at Shawnee. In Ada, 95 degrees. I was there yesterday, went to First Baptist Church Ada to see my old pastor from Kansas City, Steve Dighton, and what a friendly group of folks they were down in Ada. Had a great time. All right, uh, for tonight, overnight tonight, 77, dry, but take the rain gear at the morning bus stop tomorrow morning because, again, the rain chances start popping up in the middle part of the day. 76 in prior, 76 at Bristow with that chance of rain. Now, going through the day tomorrow, again, most of us should be dry at 7 a.m. There could be a passing shower. Southeast winds 10 to 15 miles an hour at 10 a.m. We're up to 85. Then at 1 p.m., 91 with thunderstorms possible after 3 to 3 o'clock to about 7, 8, 9 o'clock with those scattered thunderstorms. A 60% chance of rain and the pollen counts will be high again tomorrow with that high temperature around 94. Bartlesville tomorrow, 91. Brief morning showers, p.m. thunderstorms possible. We'll see daytime highs in Tahlequah around 92 and maybe as hot as 95 at McAllister and Poto. Here's the seven-day forecast on Wednesday. Much nicer temperatures, middle 80s, chance of rain in the morning, then dry Thursday, 87, Friday, 83, Saturday. Look at this, 78, and by Sunday morning, down to 59. Two Works for You at 6 continues right after this.